Hello and welcome to this PoundSense unboxing video. I'm Lutz Stratmann and today we're going to look at the inside of the Amstead 4S box. We want to learn what do you get together with your Amstead 4S and we're going to perform our first measurement. Okay, so let's start by opening the box and have a look on the inside. So inside you find everything very neatly arranged that you need to perform your measurement. For example, this quick installation guide that helps you to perform your first measurement, just like this video. Maybe a few of you uh, ended up here by scanning this QR code. Furthermore, you will find inside, of course, the Amstead 4S. Here you see this one has a blue bottom. Maybe you have a different one. You have one that has a black bottom. Well, the black bottom indicates that this is a high range version, while the blue bottom, that's the one that we have in this case, indicates that this is a low range version, so more suitable for measuring lower or smaller currents. You will also find in there the PalmSense dummy cell, which has a few test circuits. It has three different ones. That's very handy if you want to make measurements where you know exactly what to expect. Then we have a USB-C cable in the box that is to, well, connect the potentiostat to the computer and also to power it. Then we have inside the box our sensor cable to connect your potentiostat to your electrodes with four 2 mm banana plugs, blue for reference, red for working electrode, um, black and stackable for the counter electrode, and then we have green for the ground. Together with this cable, you receive the matching crocodile clips. If you do have the high range version, so the one with the black bottom, then you might receive a different, or then you will receive a different cable. And this cable has an additional plug, which is yellow and stackable. This is the working sense, which is required for the high range version of the Amstead 4. So also in the box you will find an activation code. With this activation code you can make an account at our website and download the software PS Trace everywhere you find an opportunity to log into that website. This is very handy if you want to install the software on multiple computers. Keep in mind all future updates are included. But you will also find a USB stick inside the box in case that your computer is maybe not connected to the internet. Talking about our software PS Trace, also you will receive a hard copy of the PS Trace manual and that is quite a thick book. So don't worry, you don't have to carry that always with you. Every time you install PS Trace, you also install a PDF of the manual so you have always the reference. Okay, now we know what we get with our Amstead 4S so we can perform our first measurement already. Okay, for that we first, uh, I first connect the USB cable to the computer that I'm planning on using. Then I connect the Amstead 4S uh, USB port to the, well, to the USB plug and you see, uh, very shortly, you see sometimes a green blinking and then it's blue, so green means the instrument is booting and a blue light means it's ready to be used. But first, of course, we need to connect our cell, in this case, our dummy cell. For that, we're connecting this Limo plug. You should take care that the red dot is on the top. You just shove it in and then it's fixed. If you want to pull it out, you need to pull that ring, but otherwise, it's very easy to insert it and then use it. Okay, so then I use the crocodile clips to prepare the cable and connect the dummy cell. So again, the blue clip for the reference electrode, the black clip for the counter electrode and the red clip for the working electrode. Then I take the dummy cell and I connect the electrodes to the corresponding contact pads. 
uh, as I said, we're going to use uh, one of these circuits, which is the working electrode B, and that is just a simple resistor. Um, they are very nice for test measurements because you know expect exactly what to expect. Okay, now we have set up our measurement and we're ready to use uh, the software to control the potentiostat. So I've already installed and started PS Trace on this computer. And what we first need to do is tell the software that we have an instrument and that we need to connect to it. So on the top left, you find the connection section you should have in this drop down list as an available device the MSTED 4S that we connected. If you don't see the name of the instrument, you can also just refresh and most of the times you will find it. If you don't find it, just check if the USB connection is uh, done properly. Okay, then press the connect button. We're connecting and we are connected. Now we would be ready to do a measurement in principle, but we should first check if we have set the right parameters. For this test measurement, we're going to load a method file. Uh, that is a file that contains just the parameters for a measurement, no curve or data. They are very handy if you often do the same measurement, so you can load these, uh, you can prepare these method files for that, or for example in this case to prepare a method file for somebody else to perform a measurement, in this case our first measurement. I load this method file and when I open it you see that the parameters are set for me. Then we can press the start button which is this green button here. It's only green when you connect correctly connected the instrument and we've set our parameters so we're good to go. And you see we do get a straight diagonal line. This is what, we, what we're expecting for a resistor. Okay, and we start at minus 2 volts and for a 10 kilo ohm resistor we do get minus 0.2 milliampere and we end up at 2 volts so we get 0.2 milliampere. So we successfully did our first measurement with the MSTED 4S and yes, we did that in just a very short amount of time. So I hope that we could show you how easy it is to do that with the MSTED 4S and that you learn something. If you don't want to miss our other videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day.